The lecture is about how to revisit and revise your first set of note cards. I have some steps up here as well as two videos that I will upload about language and paraphrasing. You can view whichever one you think would be the most helpful for you or the part that you're struggling with. I put these four steps across the board and I will model how to paraphrase, rephrase, and check for word choice, etc. I would read the source, uh, repeat the information in your head without looking to the source, uh, reorganize, reorganize the ideas as you write it, and recheck for language. So I'm just going to try to model for you. The goal for today is to review all 10 of your note cards, either check them against your source, check them for paraphrasing, um, that's accurate, plagiarism, changing enough words, or the quality of words that you use. So now that you have your first 10 done, the goal is to go back and to reread, make sure you're accurate, revise um, any aspect that you need to of each card. I'm going to show you some fake sources, the fake source and how I would go about paraphrasing and checking my word choice. I took this source and I read this information. It's where I previously commented that I would potentially want to take a note on this. Uh, I read the statement that the United States is one of 57 nations, et cetera, that has not abolished or otherwise declined the use of capital punishment. I try not to look at it immediately, so I click off of it and go back to my card. In this case, you'll be rereading your information against your card but I try to rephrase starting at the end of the sentence. Um, Notice how long it took me to start the sentence. I ended up changing where I started in the sentence itself to revise the order. Capital punishment remains unchanged and close to 60 nations, including the United States. I then would go back to my source to make sure that I reread again and captured the information as I should. I will copy it underneath as in a note card so I can verify to myself that I captured all the information and did not plagiarize. I go back, I check for vocabulary, dead words, inverted language, colloquialisms, and I think I'm okay. When you're rescanning your cards for this lesson, you should have this phase complete and you will just be checking uh, the language and the accuracy, although I want, wanted you to see as you move forward that paraphrasing can take a long time and it's constantly revised. If I try again, I will go back to my source. I scroll down to where I potentially had a note indicated and this was the, the note, U.S. Supreme Court has banned the execution of juveniles and people with intellectual disabilities because they have a reduced understanding of consequences. Yet those affected by severe mental illness can still be executed, which that is in quotes. So if I reread it myself, go back to my card by trying to repeat it.
paraphrase, that was much easier than the first one I felt. So sometimes you are able to do it more quickly than others. It's okay. I go back to my source. I will copy and paste the source itself to make sure that I captured the information and I didn't plagiarize. I started at the end due to intellectual impairment hindering the understanding of consequences. Capital punishment rules apply to two specific groups of individuals. Um, and then I put juveniles and those with disabilities at the end. Um, the last step is to recheck my word choice. So I go back, I look for use, I look for dead words, inverted sentences, colloquialisms, uh, and grammar in general. The two videos that I uploaded could help you with understanding the paraphrasing part, which was this first step. And the academic language could help you in the last step, which is rechecking. Please, as the assignment today, recheck your cards. Read what you, uh, your original source, read it against what you paraphrased or summarized, and then check and change for any language. If you have 10 cards that are poorly academically written, then your whole paper is going to be poorly academically written. If you start revising these cards as we go, then when you are to the point of putting them into your paper, you will have a well-written paper. So I will grade your cards from today based on language, uh, word choice, control, etc. Please watch the two videos if you think it will be helpful and focus today on revising and editing or completing any necessary cards. Good luck.